as soon as Harry Brook was called up for cover. This one-day series became play within a play. It's byproduct of the Colby's shoulder full glamour in the 1980s. And in Division 1, New Zealand got the best reviews. Even though their crushing eight-wicket defeat by David Malin and Liam Livingstone was not as glowing as the match-winning centuries from Devon Conway and Daryl Mitchell, Tom Latham won the toss and bowled. So Malin came out with Brooke after Jason Roy, who had question mark over his head, suffered a pregame back spasm and Johnny Bairstow was rested with shoulder soreness. After a cautious start against the tight New Zealand bowling, Malin concentrated on his work, grabbing two fours in Tim Southey's third over. He now center stage. Here it was four people slipping between Matt Henry's toes. There at an effortless tug of war for four people in front of the frame. Just a man taking off his velvet bow tie after a dinner cruise on the Hudson River. Livingstone also swaggered for plunderfilled clean sweep. Hitting Kyle Jamieson for three sixes a slower ball sailed over square leg behind. Hit front foot sight screen. Followed by pull from top edge. Roar of crowd echoing to nearby Royal College of Music in Wales. Loud enough to disturb Ivory Twangers. He was reprieved after heading deep when Lockie Ferguson appeared to overshoot the front foot and reach his 39 ball 50 before firing Southey into the mist and was caught much later. Brooke, whose presence ruffled the feathers in the coop, played a quieter game. He had never opened in 50 over cricket before for either club or country. But despite getting out of the boundary he had never looked quite at home on a sticky pitch. Throughout melodrama, the top scorer on his 33rd birthday was Yosh Butler. Resplendent in England's New Jersey. A dark blue towel hanging down back of his dark blue trousers. While he and Ben Stokes have made their own comebacks following his retirement reversal. They have had to rebuild after Rachin Ravindra turned the screw in his first ODI match since last. July with Joe Root looking rusty. Both wise old heads played half a century. Stokes earlier got to Ravindra with a loop on leg side. Two balls later he sent the ball straight to wicket, turned on his heel and walked away. Ben Stokes and Yosh Butler's partnership sends New Zealander Lockie Ferguson into despair. Gareth Everett Hugh Evans after Butler and Livingstone scored a rapid 77. Excellent Southey came back and caught them both at the same time. Thus David Willey scored a quick 21 to finish innings with 6. The trees in Butte Park couldn't get close enough to shade crowds sitting in the unexpected and frustrating September Welsh heat, thanks to Omega Block stuck above Europe. Sun safety warnings flashed across big screen, but a prophetic fog settled over game as England took to field after break. New Zealand's innings was lessened in quiet control from Conway, who finished the match a graceful 111 and explosive in.